Okay, so uh, it's the only time we had to check this out, but uh, this is an abandoned rail bed and uh, an abandoned railway tunnel. It's like I said, this is the only time we had rain or no rain, but uh, it's a pretty cool tunnel. Over 2,700 feet long going through this mountain here. So, it'd be good to get in there and get dry. This was built uh, between 1902 to 1904. dried off and uh, here it we'll see what uh, we'll see how far we can take this okay well we just did make it inside the tunnel man before the bottom dropped so I mean uh, wow so anyway we're already wet and so we're just gonna follow this tunnel out. It goes for over 2,700 feet. So, pretty impressive. Okay, so, uh, even though I've got boots on, it's fixing to get wet because it's about three, three feet deep. Oh, God. yeah, it's cold. Still got some of the cross ties underneath the water. And you got yeah, that little alcove right there. Uh, for anybody that was working in the tunnel, they would be able to just duck in there to avoid the train. Uh, between yeah, 1902 to 1904. Yeah, man, I got some serious wind coming through here. So, looks like, uh, I'm not sure what that is up ahead. But, uh, could very well be. So, yeah, they, they did. Uh, they had a few workers die in this thing. So, all right, we'll film a little bit more further up we go. Okay, so, not sure if this is a cave in the uh, concrete. They didn't concrete it all the way through and it becomes a natural rock tunnel. So, at least the uh, water is starting to uh, dissipate there. So, Yeah, you can see where they drove these steam locomotives through here. That whole ceiling. The top is fire. Uh, no, that was at Pigeon Mountain, that thing called fire. But, well, at least it's dry. 
Uh, this looks like a cave-in right here, see? I think it's a barrier. No, it, it just fell from the top. Look, really? yeah. Yeah, you can see it. Fell from the top, man, perfect. But it made a perfect barrier. It's uh, a geological structure. Never seen anything like that. That's completely vertical shale right there. I'm no geologist, but that looks pretty interesting. Wow. I watch a piece land on my face. Oh, God. That's, that's way up there. Well, all right. I don't know, man, but this geology, it almost, if you look up there, it almost looks like stalactites. You know, horizontal? Yeah. 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 Very, very interesting. All right. Well, I guess we'll keep going forward. That was a little deep coming through there. Yeah, just hold on to the wall, man. I wouldn't try to go out there in the middle. That's why Oh, yeah. I don't think this tunnel would ever dry. I would not want to come in here in the summertime and snakes. No, no way. Well, the, uh, World War One and World War Two, they had National Guard troops stationed on either side of this tunnel because it was so critical to the war effort. They were afraid that uh, someone might sabotage it, so they they had both ends guarded at all times. I can see why. All right, make it through the next uh, section here. All right, we're back. There's the entrance. Yeah, I don't know what that is, man. I see it up ahead. Huh. Find out, yeah, find out in a minute. Uh, had to switch out the uh, backup camera. The, uh, lens on the other one it's got moisture in it so uh mr box he's and he is way up ahead man so uh, i don't know uh, how deep this is gonna be so i'll just film when i get over there to the other side but uh that's a Look back.
Uh, I had to switch out the uh, backup camera. The uh, lens on the other one has got moisture in it. So, uh, Mr. Box, he's, man, he is way up ahead, man. So, all right, I don't know uh, how deep this is going to be. So, I'll just film when I get over there to the other side. But, uh, that's a look back. All right. Yeah, after he's gone through it, man, you can't see the bottom. Went through a couple of railroad tunnels. None of them have water like this, man. Just a little bit. Yeah, well, now you can see where the water is coming from. It's coming from the... That's one big, man, that is one big cave-in or something up there. Wow, that is a big cave in. Really? Wow. Man, that's a lot of stuff that's come down. Hey, do me a favor, turn around and shine your light. Uh, All right. Right there, uh, Yeah, man, this is some razor shale. Yeah, I'll video the rest when I get up there. All right, man, that that sunlight, man, it is really coming through because that that concrete lining, man, is almost a it's about a good six, seven hundred feet long right there. Man, you've got a massive collapse right here. I just, wow. Right there, it's about to go. Yeah, no doubt, man. I don't want to be here when that happens. Uh, definitely not, man. Well, that's interesting, man, how that's pushed up right there. Yeah. I don't know much about the geology, but that looks interesting. Well, there's there's the other end right there. We'll go down there and check it out. Feel that wind vortex again? Oh man, that wind's just about to knock you off. 
Did you already go down? No, oh, Okay. All right, yeah, I'll be extra careful. All right, it's at the bottom. That is some cold water, man. Oh, oh man, I need some coffee. And I couldn't do any filming. I had to hug that wall. Hold on to my bag. Yeah. So, anyway, we're coming out towards the other end here. And I think that water, you can hear it rushing into the tunnel from up there. And you can just see how black all this is, the suit from the uh, steam locomotives. When uh, they were hauling, uh, pulling passenger rail cars through here, just before the uh, train would come into the tunnels on either side, conductor would uh, come and have all the passengers in the uh, Pullman type cars push the uh, windows up. So when they were going through the tunnel, no smoke uh, from the locomotive would sweep down in through the cars. And I can understand why. Yeah, that's a full concrete job right there. Yeah, it does. Dark as coal back in there. Wow. Man, that water's just coming off. Yeah, now I know why all the water's coming in. <laughs> Head of the tunnel, man. Right there. <coughs> coming off the top of the mountain. Well, now it's sunny. <laughs> all right. You know, you can see this water was a huge problem that's been going on probably 117 or almost 120 years. I mean, they got that concrete, low concrete wall right there. I bet that was the channel 
the water all the way through the tunnel. Maybe they were maybe it's supposed to come out on the other side. But that's what that uh, wall looks like. Now, Man, that is a lot of water. It's just coming in from all over the place. Coming into the tunnel. Wow. Right, well, we're going to have to walk back now. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we're going to take a break for a few minutes, and then we're going to uh, we're going to have to head all the way back, unless we want to climb over this uh, fourteen hundred foot elevation uh, uh, mountain. And I don't feel like doing that. So take a break for a few minutes, and then we're going to start heading on back. Cleared the worst part. Back out into the sunlight, man. Stay in here any longer, you feel like a vampire. Alright. Alright, man. Made it all the way back to the end. Soaking wet. That, that was, that's every bit of over 2,700 plus feet one way. So, it was pouring down rainy when we came in and now it's sunny when we're coming out. So, that's, that was excellent. All right. Well, that'll do it for uh, checking out this. Uh, old railroad tunnel just abandoned underneath this mountain. Right. It was a good trip. <laughs>